what are the kinds of research that we have? Uh, so we have musicological research, right? Which is, you know, researching a topic and then learning a lot about it, maybe writing a, an overview of it or maybe uh, a detailed analysis of it. Um, scientific research, right? Like I always say, if you're going to try to figure out what the speed of light is, then you devise some tests and then uh, uh, you figure that out or you think you know, how, however they do that and then you come up with a truth, right? Which in this case might be universal truth. You know, speed of light is the same for you as it is for me and uh, um, musicology or musicological research would be research on the arts. Right? So you're researching something outside of you. And it could be really interesting. Um, but when we talk about artistic research, we often say in and through practice. So, so it's a practice-based research, which means your practice. And uh, um, so if we, if we take that, tear that apart a little bit, through practice, so that's that's the through part of the in and through. Through practice is means to you, you're practicing, you're learning the piece, uh, uh, and the other word of the in and through practice is the word in practice. So that means you are in the center of the research, as opposed to researching on something. You're researching in something where you are involved. So you have your research question which is an artistic question, and you're going to answer that question by making art. Right? So you have art, you research it, and you make more art. That's your answer. And that's the point, because you're in the middle of it. And so the answer to your question, it's not universal. It's personal. It's 100% personal. So you are, you are part of, you know, the, the answer to that is based on your vision, your ideas. So this is what artistic research is. And as a research method, it's very young. It's like 15 years old. And in the Netherlands, maybe the last 10 years that it's uh, been implemented seriously. And um, uh, and so it's a young field. There's a there's a lot of um, uh, distrust of artistic research in the scientific communities. So they're like, yeah, what for? Come on. What am I? If you just say, oh, I play a piece like this, and uh, you know, that's my research, and give you my PhD. And they're like, no. What do you mean? You have to work, and you have to build these logical. Uh, constructions which are based on research and math and truth and all that stuff and you say no well I think it's like this and then uh, and people say well that's not research but it is research because we are artists and what we are learning what we are realizing what we are accepting is that artists have incredible knowledge you guys are all you have so much knowledge and insight and uh, information, which is, at this point, probably mostly intuitive. You play your piece, you play it really well, it's beautiful, you know how to do it. <laughs> You're not necessarily translating how you do your art into words. It's just actions. And so the form of your knowledge is what we will call implicit. It's not explicit. But what we're doing in artistic research is we're taking this implicit knowledge and we're making it explicit. So, and that's gonna be the way you bring across your ideas, whether it's gonna be in text or whether you speak it in a video or whatever, that's gonna be the way you bring across your ideas. But, but understanding your own vision 
and your own knowledge and your own unique perspective on your research topic is going to be the meat of your artistic research. So in that respect, you are all specialists. And your main point is to take the vision and the, what, the knowledge that you have and then share it with us so that I can learn about how to play that piece or how you think that music should be played or the best way that you think that this uh, music can be taught. Uh, so this is basically what artistic research is, which is different than musicological research, scientific research, or just research, general research on the arts. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna find the relationship between amateur choirs and happiness, you could then do a survey and learn that amateur choirs make people happy, right? That, that would be a sort of musicological research on the arts. Um, so, um, so, you know, like for example, uh, uh, Alexander. sorry? Alexander, yes. This, so then you come with a topic where you are learning about Baroque bass lines and then you're creating your own versions of them to be used in your jazz or pop pieces or whatever. This is like perfect artistic research because there's a creation thing, right? So he's making his own lines and then you're gonna, you're gonna make them, you're gonna make recordings, you're gonna make pieces, and then you're gonna talk about how you did it. But, but the, so now, now let's come to the research part so that this is clear. So you have your, you have your topic in your research question, and we, we can go into all your research questions and look at how they're structured. And then you do the research. And indeed, this, we're talking about research, which is what we know, right? Which is reading books, reading articles, uh, listening to recordings, watching videos. It's also gonna be interviews of experts. It's gonna be uh, uh, um, maybe getting feedback on your recordings. These are all what we call data collection. Mm -hmm. so, so the research part is where you're collecting data. So you, you're doing all of that stuff related to your topic and you, know, you have all these different, whatever the tools in the library or internet or people, living people, you're gonna, you're gonna collect all that, you're gonna reflect upon it this is really important. You're gonna you're gonna think about what you think about it, right? You're gonna say, well, I think that information is good. I think that ah, they're missing a point there. I think that this is a really interesting thing which is relevant relevant for my art because of this, right? And then, um, uh, and and then once you've you've learned all this information. And we have all these different tools, also like surveys and interview, uh, you know, we can go, we'll go through those. Um, once you've done all that, then you, you uh, experimentation is also a really good tool. So you're trying things out and playing that for people and getting feedback from people, you know, also one of the tools. Then once you've done all that, then you, you have all this more, all, all this more information knowledge, ideas, uh, perspectives to work with. And that, then you, you reflect on all of that and then you put that together uh, into a new approach to your art. So this is what we could call the intervening, the intervention. So you have your one way of playing and then you do all this research, you think about it, you decide, and then you, you, play, you intervene in your practice you change the way you do it as much as you can or you try, and then you come up with a new version of it. And that's an artistic product. It's a recording, it's a concert, it's a video, it's maybe a book. And next to that artistic product, you're gonna have some sort of text, which is gonna explain all of your process. It's gonna document your, your, your research, and all the different tools that you use for research, and it's also gonna document what you thought about it, all the reflection. And, and, and part of that, that intervention, the, where you're intervening in your practice, that's where you're gonna take your implicit knowledge 
and make it explicit. So where you, you take your intuition and you try to explain it. So, and this is where your own unique vision as an artist starts to take on a main role. And you say, well, uh, um, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get at a certain way of playing uh, this piece because I really want to bring out the certain phrasing and, um, you know, however, or I'm trying to get at a certain way to bring together jazz and classical together. And I think it can be like this, right? So Sven, you already have a vision about this and we want to know what that vision is. And right now, or maybe already, it, you know, when you started, it might have been vague, undefined, but, but toch, you had an idea. And, and then you do all your research to, to clarify that idea and understand it. And then you want to talk about it. And when we talk about our artistic um, uh, truth, our personal artistic truths, you know, we can write about it in dry musicological language, but we can also be creative in the way we bring over our ideas. So artistic research is really, it's, we're really, we're throwing out all the bathwater and we're gonna make a new way of talking about research. And it's one that's rooted in your practice and something that's rooted in your vision and what you do as an artist. So it, it has this, effect to like be the most awesome thing because it's what you do and it's why you're here at, in a master's student at the conservatory is to be an artist right and so i always say artistic research is that process that turns craftsmen into artists because you're starting with your vision and then you're growing that you're researching it you're, you're adding to it you're thinking about it you're you're distilling it you're, you're working it out in practice, and then you come to your product, and then boom, and it's got, you, it's got you all over it. And then when you go out of here, you've got something to show. You say, well, this is what I do. I have this book, I have this piece, I have this method, and in the minute someone is looking for somebody, they say, well, well that's interesting. I want, to, I want to bring that into my ensemble or my organization. Like you, because it's rooted in your own vision, it's unique. And that's what makes you unique and gives you, which is you know, what we want to be as artists, right? So, um, but to come back to this, this, the way we write about it, you, know, you, you can use creative language. You could, for example, the example I always give, you could make a conversation with yourself one year ago and today, you know, and you talk to yourself, well, why didn't you think about this? Well, I was really interested in this, and, you know, and wh wh who wouldn't want to read that? It would be so much fun, right? And then, you know, like the Socratic discussions and stuff. So like you, all these different ways of creative writing or making videos, those are also at your uh, possibilities. So, and we can look at all those and talk about them, and I can show you some examples of that stuff. But, um, but this is what artistic research is.